My name is Ted Smith. I'm the author of Embology 101, The History and Uses of Cannabis Sativa. This plant right here. And uh, we're making these videos to go over the information contained in my book, just kind of bit by bit. And today, the topic is the 1937 Marijuana Tax Act of the United States. And I left off talking about Canada and Britain and other countries around the world who had been prohibiting cannabis in one way or another, um, mostly focused on marijuana uh, and not necessarily you know, including him. And uh, that it happened faster, these laws of you know, prohibition in other countries like Canada was 1923, 1928 was Britain, but the United States was more democratic at the time. Uh, probably maybe still is, <laughs> but uh, certainly it wasn't as easy for these corporations to pass laws without the public having more debate. And uh, hemp was still quite widely used. And like I say, I'll get into a lot of more of this in the, the chapter on, on prohibition itself. But hemp was slowly taken out of the marketplace through the 1920s and into the 1930s. One of the few uses of hemp uh, by 1937 was in seeds for poultry, for birds, uh, for egg production or, you know, to produce chickens. Uh, it was exceptionally good. In fact, it apparently is the case that canaries only sing with, with hemp seed, that you can feed them other foods, but it's, it's hemp seed that makes them sing. But certainly poultry farmers for chickens and, and egg production, you know, used eggs, they produce big, fat, beautiful, rich eggs. If you know of the oils contained in hemp, you can imagine the eggs that they would produce and birds eating a lot. And so in 1937, when the Marijuana Tax Act was introduced into the United States, uh, the poultry farmers were one of the few that were opposed to it because when the, the law was introduced, it, it at the end became clear that, that marijuana not only meant hemp, but also a cannabis. Because, uh, and I'll get it more into this in the chapter on medicine, but uh, in the you know, 1800s, early 1900s, there was lots of cannabis medicines that were available uh, to doctors. There were tinctures mostly, but they had all sorts of different things that they you know, were producing uh, using cannabis as, as medicine. And so the doctors were somewhat surprised by this marijuana tax act that it meant cannabis as well. And so the, the two groups that opposed the marijuana tax act in 1937 were the, the American Medical Association, ironically, one of the groups probably the most opposed to marijuana legalization in the modern era, but in 1937, the, the American Medical Association and, I can't remember the name of the Poultry Association, but represented their uh, constituents in front of the, the U.S. government and failed. The, the 1937 Marijuana Tax Act was a game changer that uh, we'll talk more about uh, as, as we go on. But it made hemp illegal, it made you know, cannabis uh, illegal, and suddenly the you know, world changed from there on in. But you'll have to watch more videos or buy my book. Go to hempology.ca, we have a store, we have t-shirts, all sorts of things you can buy. And follow our daily blogs at cannabisdigest.ca, that's uh, where we put lots of new and current information. So thanks for watching the video, hope you're having a great day.